We turn to the latest COVID numbers that today had the premier warning a second wave is on its way. And here's why. Alarm bells ringing across the province tonight as the number of new COVID-19 cases in Ontario surged to a level we haven't seen in more than three months. It was just three days ago the daily case count crept back into the 200s. Today, it suddenly spiked above 300. The number is startling. Health officials are confirming 313 new cases today. That's a big jump from the 204 reported on Sunday. And take a look at this graph. You have to go all the way back to early June to find daily caseloads above the 300 mark. One additional death has also been recorded. And the province's five-day rolling average continues to climb. It now sits at 226. A month ago at this time, that number was 83. And this is the trend we've been seeing in recent weeks. 78% of the new cases are coming from just three parts of the province. Toronto is reporting 112 new cases, followed by Peel with 71 and Ottawa with 60. And once again, the majority of the new patients are in their 20s and 30s. And here at Queen's Park today, a very grim looking premier acknowledged these numbers show a second wave is on its way. Is, is it coming? Uh, yeah, I, I believe it's coming as sure as I'm standing here. And I hope to God I'm, I'm wrong. I'd love to be up here a month later and say I, I was wrong, but it, it's coming. Doug Ford says nothing is off the table when it comes to tackling a second wave, including putting the hotspot regions, Toronto, Peel and Ottawa, back into stage two. We will take every step necessary, including further shutdowns. But the Premier wouldn't say how bad the COVID cases would have to get for him to take further steps. Doug Ford also says his government has been working on a plan to deal with the second wave and flu season, but didn't say exactly when it will be released. His health minister, Christine Elliott, did say they want to avoid postponing non-emergency surgeries again. Tens of thousands were delayed after the province went into lockdown in March. This time, she says, will be different. Even if one hospital has a full capacity due to COVID-19 patients, uh, that we will be able to make sure we can continue on with those surgeries in another hospital. And while the numbers of COVID cases have been increasing, so too have wait times at assessment centres. These were the lineups today at St. Michael's, Michael Guerin and Women's College. At Toronto Western, the lineup went around the block. Some people say they've been told the wait could be at least four hours. I guess I wait from 10 o'clock to till now, like it's two hours. Yeah, it's been so long to wait. Do you think that the hours should be extended to deal with this? Yeah, well, a good, great question. Um, I've, I've noticed that myself. Uh, we're going to increase the, the capacity. How can he tell parents that he spared no expense? Adding to the pressure on the government, the legislature resumed sitting today for the first time in eight weeks, giving the opposition a bigger platform to launch its critique of how the Ford government has been handling the pandemic. We should have had a, a plan for phase two, or rather for wave two, weeks ago. Now, there have been many calls for the province to release more details about where exactly the new COVID cases are coming from. The Premier and the province's medical officers of health say it's large gatherings in private places. Doug Ford said he's asking for more details and will release them when he gets them. 